Who had a deep desire to feel haunted today? Bio-hybrid robot hand made from human muscle tissue. Yes, we are making humans in piecemeal and turning them into biohybrid robotics. Do you guys remember the flesh thing? The human skin that could smile and could become a living, healing skin for robots? And of course, the robots that were made literally with human brains operating them. Well, now we can make limbs that are able to move like a human's hand because they're made out of human muscle tissue that operates that hand. This is something that roboticists and biologists have been working on together for quite some time. Robotics are flawed. We're trying to take something and make it look like biological systems when biology had billions of years to evolve it. Replicating the tactile sensation and movement that we have in our own hands is very difficult, so why not just borrow from biology or straight plagiarize in this case? One of the problems with growing muscle tissue is that it tends to suffer from hypoxia and become necrotic. Our muscles are very hungry things. So what they did with these guys, they grew them in cell culture, one strand at a time. And that cell culture gives them oxygen and nutrients as they grow. Once they put together multiple sheets, they could then take it and fold it in on itself to make muscle fibers similar to our own. The result is something that can be controlled with electrical impulses, not too dissimilar to how our own muscle tissues work. They do suffer from the same problems that trying to grow human brains to operate robots also suffer from, and that's going to be vascularizing them. Although the technology is rapidly getting better, right now they're still going to have to provide them with a medium that they can get oxygen and nutrients from directly from diffusion. So it absorbs it directly from the outside environment. Ultimately, the combination of these things could be used for amputees, something with a living skin that feels and grows and heals. But it could also make robots that are more human, without actually needing a human. I think what we're really doing is bridging the gap between humans and machines. We know that brain organoid technology could be used with brain implant technology. The same things that allows us to operate them like computers could allow us to operate our own brains like computers. Robots can't do a lot of the things that we do. Robots have a difficult time with crochet, for example. Interestingly enough, crocheting artificial muscle fibers can make something that functions very much like our muscle fibers. I always thought that when we're trying to make technology, we should borrow from nature. Turns out, plagiarizing nature does work too. Brain organoids can do a lot of things that AI can't. They have a different kind of creativity may especially learn spatial recognition better than our current AI models. A lot of the push for these guys comes from them being less power hungry than AI. AI needs a whole nuclear power plant. Technically, they might need a pack of sugar. It's not that simple. But the combination with AI may create something that we never could have imagined. I do describe this as making humans in piecemeal. You can't clone a person in much of the world, but you can clone their individual components and combine them with robotics. People always like to ask if researchers read sci-fi. Yes, they do. A lot of inspiration comes from science fiction. The question isn't why so much. A lot of uses come after the fact. Brain organoids were made before we found a lot of uses for them. This technology too will find uses for after the fact. It will be interesting to see how we can overcome the limitations of human biology in robots, like infection and aging. The push to have more efficient robots may end up with medicine that makes our meat robots, our flesh mechas, more efficient. It is creepy. That is hard to deny. But science is modern day magic. That's what it does. It pushes the limits of what is possible. We're just going to have to see how history looks at it.